It is night number 11, and we continue to do the things that we are doing. Alright, at least we're one-shotting the runners. Let's see, so... God, we have no skill range on on our tome user. Probably probably something to watch out for. The tome has a relatively long base range. So I, I think I notice it a little less. That we don't. We don't have everything we're looking for. Alright, let's see. So... We could just get three kills here. Wow, those are some numbers. Hey, nicely done, Blood Mage. We'll back up, let the bulky come in. Not, none of these bulkies are going to make it to the traps, which is a bit unfortunate. Also, you should. I think you should proc isolate on miss sensors for sure. I would like to uh, officially request that. Only isolated miss sensors, though, of course. Okay, let's see. And then uh, we're out of actions over here, unfortunately. Who has the action potions? I feel like our blood mage does. I'm not sure why I've decided that it is important to do these guys this way, but... Okay, that's, that's all cleaned up. I don't think we're getting any stuns this turn. We're probably going to have to keep moving back. But... And then you... Where's the most optimal place for you? Probably like right here. Um, the the problem with weakening touch is just the the two action point cost. I my general preference on on things that are applying sadism is I like things that are free or close to free, and that that feels very much like the opposite of free. Uh, two action points feels pretty expensive. But speaking of, I will I will now take this bulky and turn them into a teddy bear. Minus four hundred and twenty damage. All right, that's a thing that just happened. Ooh, we do have. It looks like one of the bulkies made it in. That's nice. Oh, two of the bulkies made it in. Good job, bulkies. Oh, did I take septic touch on this this hero? No, I think I just got the. All right, I just I just got it the normal way. That's fine. Let's see. See, this guy's energized. Oh no, no, he's not. He's he's plus three movement. So let's just slow him down a bit. Yeah, that's that's more like what we what we like for him. The cuddliest of all teddy bears. This guy. Taking 420 extra damage. I better one-shot them with something, or I'm gonna be very disappointed. Isn't there isn't there a minimum resistance that you can get? Can I not mouse over that? I feel like minus resistance is capped. We should build a catapult. Maybe we should okay. As a as an experiment for potentially doing a pacifist run of uh, of Glintfine, I think it probably makes sense for us to 
uh, try to kill Nessie with catapults. Oh, that's a heartbreaker right there, isn't it? Okay, so you are... So you better get hit like a truck here. Still just 500. What's the damage calculation? The the resistance is only adding 200 to the damage calculation. See, that's the problem. That's not... That does not inspire me to want to... Build Tome specifically for Weakening Curse. Like, that is an insane amount of minus resistance for a relatively small payday. Yeah, I think it is capped at minus 50, but it's like, that's that's so laughably easy to get, right? Like, it doesn't, uh, it unfortunately doesn't feel like it moves the needle much compared to what it could. You know, because I think sometimes people point to that minus resistance as being somehow transformative. And unfortunately, I don't think it quite delivers on that. Okay, got you. I'll just I'll just brute for brute force this guy without him being isolated, even though it's gonna tank down my one by one. That's okay. So let's see, you're coming in, you'll get into the haven, no problem. No panic. Am I just going to take this bulky? I think I am. Oh, wait. All my health potions are on the same hero. Uh, that's annoying. Let's, uh, let's slow you down. You'll make it in. If we if we slow death you, though, minus two movement, I'm going to put you right here. This is technically Haven, so we'll do that, too, I guess. And then we can retreat. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, move you like that. And then, so if you're standing here, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can't hit us. Neener, neener. All right. I mean, the, the swirls, they look fantastic, don't they? Like, it's really satisfying. Oops. That was a that was a hit we probably didn't need to take. I can't even get a good meteor off. I do use the keyboard shortcuts. I have E and Q to switch between heroes. See, no mouse hand. Um, but sometimes I click on them. I, uh, I am definitely guilty of not being the most efficient player. Which you would think I would invest in, uh, in a little bit of efficiency, given the... Uh, Given the reality that I, I play so much, you'd think I would have figured it out by now, but... And, and then we should, we should be a little cautious. So if you move to here, one, two, three, four, five, okay, you're safe. We got two bulkies over here that I'm gonna try and isolate out of existence. And I know that guy was already dead, but it seemed appropriate just to try and get him done. Wow, that was a real lack of corpses, or a real lack of crits there. But we got the long arm of the law over here to get the job done. We also have very little AP compared to some of our other runs. Okay, get you back out here so that your spiky counter is activating. Oh, someone needs to...
Let me save this guy out. Okay, there we go. Onward and upward. The traps are doing a passable job at killing the uh, the runners, but you have to remember that the traps are doing that with multiple stacked fortress masters. Which is a, a very heavy cost to have invested in. So Vivian, do you have do you have big game hunter? You don't. That's uh that's hurting us a lot with uh with with poor Vivian. Her numbers are never gonna be that astounding, unfortunately. Finally taking advantage of the fact that I am remembering that we uh, we have boom on this hero. Right now we look like we're in a position where we will probably get stunned on this hero. Maybe not. I'm not I'm not gonna bother checking too carefully. Yeah, I think in a future run we're definitely gonna have to go for the for the no traps build, because right now we are Ooh, this is interesting. So if I go in with this guy, we don't really have anything over here that's gonna... Do you still have... Do you still have some shots? There we go. Alright, good enough. There are a lot of bulkies on this wave. I'm I'm impressed. Our poor spiky counter person can't seem to get a kill to save their life. We might have a stun over here. We apparently have a lot of a lot of dodge on on Ingrid. Uh, let's see. You're gonna come over to here and just fix that. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to stack up, like, a ton of poison here. So when we kill this guy, we're just obliterating everybody, and then that should get... There we go. Eh, we don't need to kill anybody else. I was going to say, I, I want to be one-shotting bulkies at this point in the uh, in the progression of things. There's a lot of collateral damage that we're taking there in terms of killing things that we didn't necessarily want to. So I'll do that instead. And then set this bulky up. We got two AP left to get to secure these kills for sure. I bet this gets all of them. All right. So maybe what we're learning here, more than anything, because I went with a propagate heavy build here for sure. And I'm kind of feeling like what I'm learning is, is that corpse strats and propagate work about as poorly as as it gets. Maybe that's the problem. This guy's coming into here. We should probably 
Wait, can we not move you? All right, we got tons of movement. All right, we'll just do that. Pop up evasion. Get you over here. All right. So our, our hero with the health pots was the one who got stunned there. I think it's fine though. I was gonna say, we sometimes land stuns on bulkies, so. So we'll just we'll let these guys wake up. Let him wake up next time. Okay, mystery why Boom didn't go off there. I feel like Boom has been... Boom is not reliable, and it has been only getting worse as of late. This guy's going to die almost immediately, so that's going to be a very underwhelming bees. Are we going to have a hard time killing this guy? I think we might just take some... We might just take a hit, but... That, that gives me a lot of hope. Okay. Good. Oh, we still got one guy over here. There we go. Oh, we might have gotten our Blood Mage stunned again. Now, just... Just a little bit of damage. Hey, Z Zatos! Thank you so much for the uh, for the follow. Welcome. Okay, we'll let you come in. Oh, can I refresh stun here? They have one turn of stun. This is actually I'm actually very interested. It looks like you can't overwrite stun because they're going to become immune to stun, which is very interesting. Let's see. You just, you're bored over here, right? Yeah, you can come over here. Medic, there we go. I should be using up resupplies right now. Who is the other person who had resupply? Ah, it is you. Okay, that's actually perfect. This is, that's great value. And then, I'll do that, because I don't think we're going to have that many turns left. I mean, we're probably saving, like, a fair amount of material. Let's see, we'll get you both opportunism to up. Oh, we need to kill this guy first. Not bad. And then this bulky gets the one shot. All of our reloads are used up, so we're just done. It does work sometimes uh, in Lustrous. Ding, 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 ding. Right. Nessie, Nessie, Nessie. Mm 
We are, I think, going to have one more mountain than we can scavenge. Nope. Nope. We end up with exactly, uh, exactly the right amount. Okay. Now, interesting question. Do we tear down any of the structures in lieu of more traps? Nah, I think we treat them like walls. The, the structures will do some will do some good. So we won't. We won't do that. Now let's see. Your block never really reached cap, which is unfortunate. Our blood mage our blood mage fell short of the thousand hit points, too. And as a result brought great shame upon our household. We're capped at 200 percent here, physical damage at the moment. Uh, so that's not going to do any good. Increase that there. Take a bit of crit. Physical damage is literally worthless to us. Which is an interesting way to be. I'll take a bit of healing received, even though I think we're, we are totally good on that now. So I'll take the action point. And I will take the isolation, I think. Big Game Hunter is a great final one to take there. Take Exploit Weakness. 36% is pretty good. We could also pick up some more accuracy if we wanted it. Doesn't Resistance Reduction becomes Opportunism? Yeah, I'll take a little bit of that. I'll take a, a skosh of that. I want more crit. All right. Still not great. None of our heroes have really popped off, but... Legendary Assassin. Yeah, I think it's good. I don't really want her rocking two longbows, if I'm being honest. Thirty-one percent crit. I'll take some isolation. Blessing. Do we have anything that really works for blessing? Not really. I think Big Game Hunter is the better, the better take here. Okay, that's our level ups done. Uh, we have a couple of corpse mountains piles to deal with here, clearly. Are you amazing? No, not really. Are you amazing? No, not really. Uh, our blood mage is already capped on physical damage, so the winged helm is not that great. So that's probably a roll. This is definitely a roll. Um, I am not sure which applies first, actually. Um, my guess would be that sheer power applies first. They generally do things in an order that is beneficial to the player. That's usually like the rule of thumb. This tome is... How does this compare to Geralt's tome? It's only really an upgrade if the opportunism comes into play, but the opportunism might come into play. And I think I, we want to reroll both of these. Pistol's a no. That's basically a no. Woof. Those were all quite terrible. This helm isn't bad. I'll take that and I will reroll this. I like that amulet quite a bit. Okay, we'll go with that. We're done with rerolls, which is always a nice thing. It means that we can move a little faster. I don't care much for that chest piece. It's a pretty sweet power staff. That might be worth swapping in. This dagger is pretty insane if we're willing to take a hit. Uh... Aztecs, are you asking where? why do I have rerolls and where do they come from? They are part of the meta progression system. So as you advance through the game, you gain uh, you gain rerolls. I haven't I haven't taken any omens or anything like that. I might I might lose a lose a level on our druid staff for an AP.
offhand magic orb with two AP. I can probably find a home for that. Holy cow. Offhand magic orb with 32% isolation. Okay, game. I see you. You wanna you want us to do some orb things, apparently. Got it. I will happily do some orb things. Ooh, that's a nice defensive helmet. 11% crit here is good. Take that, but I don't think we're using it. We might need a better... Yeah. That is an upgrade. All right. Cool. So here's what I think we're doing. I think we are taking one of the two bows here. Specifically this one, I think. Let's put it down here because it's getting sold. And you are becoming double orb master. Oh, wait. Were these both offhand orbs? Oh, they're both offhand orbs. Do we, do we just... I think we bank on getting two main hand orbs. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's worth getting two main hand orbs for that, I think. So let's see. So... This is a big damage increase on opportunism targets for a minor stun decrease, so I'll do that. Then bees-wise, remind me. So this is, it's basically like 20 extra poison damage, but this one comes with a bunch of, uh, with an AP, and we lose some mana. We have a lot of mana. We have enough mana. This was trash, this is trash. Now, this is a, a minor upgrade there. Now, let's see. This, we're getting like damp, we're getting a bunch, 12% damage off of that. We gain no damage off of this. So I think this gets tossed in the wood chipper. And then two action points, isolation, crit. I think for two action, does that cap us on action points? It does. Oh, that's a shame. Do we have someone else that's rocking a dagger? We do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Joanna, that's a nice, that's a nice benefit for you. Um, we don't need that. The priest helm on our blood mage is not doing much good. We'll do that because the movement is nice. Our defensive hero. This comes with a ton of armor. We lose some some damage though, so I don't think we're interested in that. And then, as long as we put up opportunism, I think that's pretty good. Oh wait, this is, eh, no, that's not better. Okay, so let's see. So, Fey Amulet with nine crit. We, we have to have someone who can take advantage of this. We lose a small amount of crit. I mean, this has a lot of stun on it. Why don't we give this to Tomas? Yeah. Then we have this one that has a bunch of damage on it. These vicious boots have a bunch of isolation. Oh, who's taking these pants? All right, we'll do that. And then let's sell. So as a reminder, we need not one, but two isolation-centric weapons for, for ourselves. Ideally, level five magic orbs. This is, this is a questionable pivot on the best of, of times. We only have 1,600 gold to, to work with. And they're only showing us offhand magic orbs. Ooh, that's an interesting hat. Kind of like this Ronin scarf. But... Show me... Well, I mean, with a bunch of isolation on it, this is not terrible. I mean, I'm going to grab it as a hedge. Obviously, we want better, but... We, we may not be offered enough magic orbs. It's cheap, so we'll grab it. 
We don't really need a multi-hit hat. That Baron's Cape is pretty sick. Ooh, better Mithril Longbow. And it has a bunch of accuracy, which gets converted over. I'll grab that. Oh, wait, we don't have anyone that's, that's rocking that. That was that was a silly purchase. We uh were our we have offhands now on our uh on our person that would use that. Ooh, level five magic orb. So now we can ditch that one. A lot of our reroll value is going directly into into our isolation person. Two propagation bounces. I think there's some places that that could be useful. Our blood mage could use some some scrolls if we're at that stage in the in the game. This is nice for our for our stunner. 31% poison is decent. The money goes quick. Uh, level 5, I guess level 5 is definitely better than level 3. That seemed like that seemed like some good stuff there. Vivian has become the orb master, master of orbs. <laughs> uh, let's see, you. This is a nice upgrade for you. That's going to get sold. Then, did someone have a a Baron's cape? I feel like you. This has twenty three isolation. This one here isn't very good. Now our blood mage. I think we're gonna go double those. How much are they hitting for on you? Like a thousand? Not bad. Geralt can have another. Uh, Geralt already has an energy potion. Let's give one to Ingrid. These little potions I'm just gonna get rid of because they clog up the screen. Now I was thinking 25%, oh, 35 isolation. Oh, wait, let's take that off of you and put that over here, like so. Your isolation is at 340. That's kind of insane. That's, that's just better. Let's see, and then we have a 13 crit and damage. Yeah, better than the Battle Mage armor. Now, the Battle Mage armor, I'm actually looking at it now, and I'm like, is this better than what we have on... Gets you a ton of block. You lose a bit of crit, a bit of crit power. Eh, it gets us closer to the... Closer to where we wanted to get to. All right. Sell, 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 sell. Now, are we actually giving anyone a Warp Crystal? I don't think we even need to, to be honest. Let's, let's demolish corpses. Not that we need to either, but at this point they're just free walls, but... I also don't... I, I suspect we may find ourselves in a situation where we don't actually have enough materials to fully refill ourselves. Let's check it out. No, it's another 400. Okay, that's not bad. Get that all sorted. This is all filled up, and then... We are going to do some science here. I want to see if with Weakening Tome we can do get the kill. That's basically, that's the play there. All right, and we are a little low on money. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice staff. You lose a bit of opportunism, a bit of stun. 
get a bit of resistance reduction. Eh, it's, it's okay. That's a lot of stun. How, uh, how close are we to cap on you? We're already at 95%. So that would push us over, but I don't think we need to. And then what is, uh, what is our Blood Mage's spear look like? That, but better. Cool, cool, cool. This leather cape is kind of crazy. I might, I might try and fit that on someone. We'll see. That might be a pipe dream, but... Ooh, we get our level 5 Meteor Ring. One more Energy Potion, I guess, is good. Finally, we have Momentum there. Now, it would this would go on you. What's this thing? Yeah, one skill range. We'll do that. All right, and then you don't need two potions, although you didn't even use your potions last time, so shame. Okay, do we want to do we want to warp crystal anyone up? I don't think so. We have more than enough movement to make this work. So I feel like the shop is too RNG right now. What do you think about my suggestion to make a perk where the shop ha has a predetermined type and number of wares? I think it's very interesting. Uh, I I think that it is. It it could potentially solve a lot of problems uh i don't think I, I have not found it to be super necessary but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be a, a welcome change so let's see you're gonna be like way out there um you are gonna be like out here somewhere first turn i think we're mostly let's see i'm gonna put you i do want you to teleport so i'll put you there and then and I'll put you here and you here. Yeah, we can teleport around if we need to. I guess I guess it's spend it while you while you have time. Let's see. I think just in case, and then money wise. I mean, another lightning scroll isn't a terrible idea. Geralt can just take it straight up. That's great. Okay. I think we're good to go. I guess we should just move you a bit forward. You a bit forward. You a bit forward. Get you a little bit away from the water. You're here because you're going to teleport. So no point in doing a little extra work there. And then you can just kind of block this up. All right, here we go.